today I added, I added my cuff because I felt like it could or this fringe feel even if it's not rough from, from raffia hi guys so i'm dressed to go out this is saturday afternoon I'm supposed to be doing brunch but i don't know if we're gonna do brunch because it's late and i was waiting for jay because he has to finish up some work it looks like he's running here a little white so your girl is dressed and ready to go but I'm not going anywhere anytime soon it looks like i don't know maybe we'll just have a very early dinner instead of brunch welcome back to my channel my name is gloria i'm also known as a life with glory b people call me glory b people call me glory glow glow money all of the things i ended off the last vlog yesterday showing you guys some pieces that i just got in and i just got something else i tell y'all i'm shopping for summer if you're in new york and you experienced the tremors earthquake yesterday that was scary that was mad scary i ran to the nearest beams between the doors the door like a doorpost and i held on <laughs> like yo it was we were in the kitchen jay and i and we were like what is that what is that it's earthquake jay was like it's earthquake it's earthquake so i started i just ran to the center like under the like a little doorway that leads to our living room and I held on until it subsided, but it was a little scary. And I, you know, I, I pray that we never experience a real earthquake here. Like, yeah, earthquakes are very scary. All right, so let's start with the first item that I have. And I wish I had on something a little bit more summery to really give the vibe of this. It is beautiful, guys. This bag. Now, when I saw this on J. Crew. I thought to myself, this reminds me of my green La Malanisa, La Malanisa, it's a Spanish brand. It reminded me of the bag that I got from them. And they have a lot of bags that do have like this raffia feel or this fringe feel, even if it's not raff from, from raffia. They have a ton of them. And yeah, Jake could drop this one and I had to have it. This is what you see all summer long like, or on vacation. Like this is the perfect vacay like little bag that you can take during the day or you can take it with you at night. I mean, it's vacation. So when you have on that nice resort wear a bag like this, you don't have to hold it by, ignore the sirens. You don't have to hold it by the top handle. You can hold it just under here. You carry it like a clutch. Sorry, you guys can't really see all that properly. Yeah, you can just like slide it onto your arm or just carry it like this. Like, man, listen, I can't wait to slide this up. So, I have one more thing to show you guys. I've suddenly gone sunglasses crazy, but not expensive sunglasses, the more affordable kind. And I went down a rabbit hole when I went on Amazon looking for sunglasses. Well, Jay and I, and I was drawn to these guys. They look almost like goggles, right? Again, this golden hue, similar to the ones that I showed you in last week's video. I love it. I love it so much. Guys, I looked at the lens and I could see that it already have like a little scratch. I was like, should I send this back and tell them they need to send me like a new one without scratches? Is it worth it? I, I, I don't know. It might not even be noticeable to people. But I can see it. Let's just show you guys the look. She's gorgeous. Looking in the lens. Oh my god. I... I don't know. I got way too many sunglasses that I love now. Alright, let me take this coat off. I'm beginning to feel hot. Way too many sunglasses to choose from. This summer... Yeah. I'm talking about summer, like if it's the only time I wear sunglasses in the summer. But this year is a year that I will be wearing all of my sunglasses. If it means wearing two or three pairs in a day, then that's what's going to happen, right? Stunning. Stunning, y'all. They fit my face really, really well. 
I have a smaller face, I feel, because a lot of sunglasses tend to like fall off my face when I look down or if I shift or move too sudden. I can say so far that none of the ones that I just purchased fit loose. They all fit pretty good on my face, so I am loving them. I'll leave the links for you guys in the description, not to worry. And I'll also have them in my Amazon storefront. If you've been loving my style, a lot of my things come from Amazon. A lot of my accessories are coming from Amazon. And I don't always show all of them here. Like, I'm wearing, this is from Amazon. All right, let's talk about what I'm wearing. I have this t-shirt. I've had it for quite some time, maybe three or four years. It has a little, like a white mark at the front. I don't know where that came from. Maybe from the laundry, who knows. And I am wearing these black tights that look like latex kind of fabric but most it more looks like leather than latex with a shine leather with a sheen i started to put on this gray top that i got from manier duvor if i have any footage of what this top looks like i'll try to insert it here for you guys so you can see it on so it has like these garters that hang down and when i put it on i felt like you know this is too much for me today because i plan to also do some run some errands so not just brunch we were planning to do a little bit of shopping as well so i want to be comfortable so i started to take it off and then i threw my t-shirt on before completely taking it off and once i put my t-shirt on and i looked down i was like hey, this is this is giving this t-shirt like this is giving the look a vibe it's it's giving deep it's giving texture it's adding some edginess to the look and just to simple t-shirt just seeing those hanging down is just a vibe and then i'm throwing on my my full fur coat that i got from l chain vintage for like ten dollars it's not it's a vibe y'all and then i'm wearing my free people's blinged out sneakers they remind me of of converse but they're it's a brand called nanku the first time I've ever heard about them was when I saw them on Free People's site and I love them. So today I added, I added my cuff because I felt like it could blend with the pearl in the necklace. So this these, this cuff is from MAM. The brand is located in Spain and I have a few of their pieces that I absolutely love, including a bag. They have some really unique pieces. I love that brand. If you're looking for some unique jewelry, they're not super expensive, but they're also not cheap. So they're quality. I've had this cuff for maybe two or three years now. Feels like about three years that I've had it. And it is not, it's gold plated, but no tarnish, nothing. And I wear this cuff a lot. Like if I had my, like when my hair was natural and I slicked my hair back and I put this on, it was everything. And now that my hair is like this, I need more cuffs in my life. I think that a short hair, because you're seeing your ears, you know, and you. I think that a woman's earlobes was like they're so sexy, and when you adorn your ear with jewelry, it just, it's just, it's just everything, everything. All right, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of the day, but stay tuned. Hey, fam. I don't know where or how today's gonna go. <laughs> Yesterday I was planning on doing so much, but didn't do very much at all. Jay and I were supposed to go out, but he ended up working very late on a project. And that was more important to me than us, you know, going anywhere. So, and I was kind of happy to just sit back, relax, and continue editing my uh, vlog that I uploaded this morning very early. I've been having some issues guys. I usually use InShot to edit my videos on my phone. But the I think because my phone it's either my phone has too much stuff on it and not enough data to like store things properly or the app itself isn't working good. So almost every time I edit a video, I have to like adjust the the sound because my words don't match back with what I'm saying. It's so annoying and it's happening constantly. It's been happening for the last three, four videos that I edited, so I don't know. I need to figure out my editing situation.
in chat may not be the one for long forms. They good be short form videos, but long form maybe not. All right, guys, I'll check in again in a bit. Breakfast was great. I didn't eat too much, though I could have. Yeah, they had a good spread. They had a lot of the local Jamaican type food. We had dumplings, like boiled dumpling, fried dumpling. They had bananas, they had yams, sweet potatoes, and uh, a variety of fruits they could choose from, like, you know, yellow bananas, grapes, and a whole host of other type of, of um, fruits then they had like a fruit bowl as well then the rice and peas the white rice they had I think like curry goat baked chicken barbecue chicken chicken wings oxtail you name it the door had it so the door is one of our favorite Jamaican restaurants they make a sweet sweet rundown snapper oh god it's so good guys it's so good I didn't have that today even though I could have we wanted to have the buffet you know with the just to get a little bit of everything I, I had like a little quarter of a boiled dumpling I love love boiled dumpling and as much as I'm avoiding flour yeah I, I had to have it I just had to it's so hard for me to not have it my willpower isn't strong enough so else did I have I had a little bit of rice Maybe like a tablespoon of rice, some liver. I don't even know what kind of liver it is. And a lot of vegetables. I had a lot of vegetables, had some salad and whatnot. It was good. I don't feel oh, overly man. full. I feel I feel sorry that was G. Um anyway, we no problem with him. Yeah, so the, like I said, everything tasted so good. I had some big chicken. I had a little piece of so many different things and then there was a cornmeal pudding i think that's the right name it reminded me of if you're bajan it reminded me of pone and maybe even if you're not bajan i think trinidadians call it pone too but it's pone is made with cassava and stuff like that this is made with cornmeal it tasted so good but it was super sweet so all i, I had like <laughs> this much i have to really watch the things that i consume i think you pay like a fixed price for everything including the juice so we had a choice of lemonade or pineapple ginger i have pineapple ginger even though i really didn't drink it i sip on it because i know it has a lot of it's high in sugar so i just sip a little so if the cup was this big i drank this much i did not drink much at all all right i'm wearing my favorite sunglasses right now these are my faves and i'm wearing my new amazon find that i shared with you guys on the video that I uploaded today, this top, all the girls, all the girls are wearing this top. So I'm gonna look like everyone else. <laughs> Just kidding. I think that I've seen, when I say all, all the girls, I've seen a couple people with the top. I remember someone actually sent me a video on Instagram to show me a jeans that was like a barrel leg jeans from Amazon. And I've been checking out those Amazon barrel leg jeans too. And I promised to try one of them out because. I have my own barrel leg -like jeans that I recreated that I upcycled but I don't own one that was purchased I have some that may look like the barrel because they kind of widen the leg but they're not the like that 
the original borrowed leg jean that dropped last year or was it uh, yeah i think it was last year Every eyes that's your number. beautiful day today it is already in the 50s for us that's amazing and it's going up to 70 degrees or something so I have a very light jacket on I'm gonna try to film when I get to work so you guys can see the full look but so excited looks like summer is coming I am currently in Whole Foods, but I thought I'd check out some other organic coffee creamers. And this one looked like it would be a good purchase. It's the oat milk, oat milk. <laughs> they changed the name up on us. That's kind of like my list. So I'm gonna look for that when I'm um, picking up my other groceries. Because I usually order stuff like that. I order them online. I want another plant. Oh my gosh. This looks like it needs some help. <laughs> mm. All right, Whole Foods. Your plants aren't looking very promising right now, y'all. Why do I end up like this? Waiting by the phone. You'll call me again I've been down low ever since And I don't know how long it's been Days pass by like it's hours Sweet memories turn in sour And yeah, I said that I forget all these memories in my head But it's the only thing I have left I keep my hopes up One day you'll show up Tell me that you love me again I say I'm sorry
guys i just tried these in a nine usually i am a nine and a half these fit perfect y'all and they're very very comfortable is it really that warm outside people <laughs> state of tiredness for the last two weeks or something maybe it has a lot to do with what's also on my mind so I'm just not physically fatigued but mentally fatigued as well it's not a vibe guys I need a moment I need many moments actually anyway I just went to Century 21 to return these um, like two items because I had picked up some stuff for Jay last week and almost everything was good and they were all really good prices so he was happy he was like yeah these are good and um but two of the items didn't fit well so i just took them back and waited on the train to head home all right later guys train's coming chilly a little chilly y'all is summer coming or not <laughs> she, does, she better not mess with us y'all anyway I'm in my all yellow yellow is my color for the season all right everything yellow I don't think I've ever been in Sarah's so much in my entire life than I have been within the last couple of weeks but this time I wasn't shopping for myself <laughs> I was actually shopping for Jay and I saw these jeans the famous Zara's men's cargo jeans and I had to try them on it looks like I got myself a pair of the famous Zara men's cargo pants guys and I didn't come for these I just <laughs> I just happened to be looking for some men stuff, helping Jay out a bit because he needs some stuff and he had no time to go shopping. I needed to have my recording on all the time so that I could record the amount of times people compliment me on this outfit. Easy like that.
Friday morning. I tried on a Zara's pants, the men's cargo pants, but I didn't buy it. I was going to buy it. And I said, you know what, Glow? Honestly, I don't wear jeans a lot in the summer. I do not really wear pants a lot in the summer. So I felt like I didn't really need it right now. I'm pretty sure that they're going to have the cargo jeans again in the coming fall and winter. So I was... I'll wait. Maybe another style will come out that I like. I'm about to go make a skirt. I already cut it out. I should have filmed that part. But I'll show you guys a little bit of my sewing process. And then I'll show you the final results. I'm hoping to finish sew the skirt within two hours. Crossing my fingers. Never met someone like you. Uh, felt something like your touch. I wish we would have met tonight. Sure I've had lovers in my past. the girls we are meeting at Kokomo for brunch I'll show you guys what I'm wearing later either while I'm at the restaurant or when I get back or something I have 7% left on this camera. I didn't charge it up in a couple of days. 
and we had just finished up brunch brunch was good there were seven of us there and I felt like we just had so much to catch up on because we hadn't seen each other in a long time I think the last time that all of us got together was just over a year ago and it was in the winter time or something yeah we had yeah it was the last time that all of us actually were together and we got to do that more often it was fun anyway I didn't drink much I had one drink that I sipped on and I never quite finished it I'm trying to not drink so much alcohol yeah it's really not a vibe but let me get going I think someone wants a park all right guys I'll show you in a cutaway what I'm wearing so I'm wearing this oversized blazer men's blazer it's actually one of Jay's one that he gave to me he passed it down and this the strapless black Zara top the jeans is actually my farmer browns that I fold over I love to wear them like that I put a belt through it so it almost looks like I'm wearing an apron pants it's a vibe always a vibe I wore my off-white off-white brand <laughs> not the off-white is not the color I wore my off-white bag this is in a mint green which I absolutely love I love to wear this with my lighter color jeans yeah anytime I have on some light color denims I always grab for this bag I also wore my latest sunglasses they remind me of ski goggles these are from Amazon and my Air Jordans the ones that are in this hunter green mixed with the white love them all right so my friend Kiki actually gave me a little if I should give all of us a goodie bag but I had something extra because when they went to Dubai a few months ago well longer than a month longer than a few months sometime last year <laughs> she brought me a little gift guys I love it so much isn't she beautiful I can just yeah I'm definitely gonna be styling her up a lot love the red and the gold she also gave us each a little goodie bag which is so cool now this goodie bag has in strum products so this is dr. Barbara who is the founder of the brand this is specifically darker skin tone this face cream I mean I love it for us y'all then there is an enzyme cleanser and finally we have a darker skin tone hyaluronic serum my swimsuit came if you watch my last video where I showed you guys all the sunglasses and stuff I had pre-ordered a swimsuit this is this is part of the trunk sale by Moda Operandi and I was surprised that it came so quick I was expecting it to come in the next couple of weeks but they surprised me with it I would have showed you guys a photo of it. It's by Bond Ice. This brand is Australian and I love it. I, I'm really into Australian brands right now. They are bringing the summer vibes all the time. So, and this blue, guys, this beautiful sky blue, ocean blue, so good. So it's a little bikini and a strapless top. Guys, I hope, I hope the girls are holding this year. I just hope so. Anyway, I'll show you guys this at some point when I finally do wear it. And oh, finally, I have to show you guys what my skirt that I made yesterday looked like. It fits really good. I ran into some trouble because I didn't have a zipper that matches the color of the skirt. I thought I had a bunch of different zippers, but I found out I do not. So I need to order some. But I made it work. The zipper is barely seen. It's like a green zipper that I put on the inside. The skirt is long and flowy. It's two tiers, so it has a a tear of like flowy fabric at the top and then I added a separate one like around the hip and it floats it glides on the floor okay so I made it long enough that when I do wear it with heels or if I do want to wear it with heels it's still very long it's definitely sweeping the floor since the skirt was blue it, it dawned on me that I should put on this new swimsuit top with it it's almost the same color this one is just a little bit more bright than the skirt fabric right but I love how this skirt came out. I want to make a few more skirts like this and dresses and all that good stuff. This summer, I'm definitely planning on making a lot more things for myself. I want to spend more time just creating 
pieces. Now this was really simple. It took me about three and a half to four hours to do. And I'm talking from cutting out to sewing. It shouldn't take me that long, but because I haven't been doing, like I haven't been working my craft consistently, it's going to take me longer. So you know, you do something over and over and over. Obviously the faster you do it, the better you get at it. And because I haven't been sewing like that a lot, when I'm doing something, it takes me a lot longer. I have to take my time and make sure that I'm doing it properly. I'm doing it correct and refresh my memory. I think that is it, guys. That's it for the vlog. Thank you all so much for subscribing. Thanks for liking my videos. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for your love and constant support. You all are truly fam. I, I cannot thank you all enough. I will see you all in the next one. So until then, take care. Bye for now.